Good morning, Starry here. Okay, so today I'm gonna make these bouffant caps. Um, when we put them on at work, we kind of have our ponytails in the back and then we wrap the ribbon up around top so it kind of does the ponytail. It's a flat front cap. Um, so there's not a lot of ruffling or anything up around the head, um, but it covers the ponytail nicely. Uh, so I had some requests from some girls at work about these, so we're going to try to make one today. Uh, and I've looked at some other videos and some patterns, and I think, I don't know, I've just come up with kind of a simpler, more streamlined way of making it. You come out with the same hat. So the girl I'm making it for chose this fabric out. So what we're going to do then, we're just going to get started. All I've drawn is a template. This is an eight inch. So it's eight inches all the way. Uh, we're gonna fold the fabric over four times and cut on the fold so that we get a 16 inch circle. So 16 inches in diameter. Let's get started. Okay, so I hope you can see that little chalk mark there. And then I will just cut it with my fabric scissors. Top of our hat, we'll go ahead and set this aside and we'll cut the, I guess you'd call it the brim. Okay, so I've sewed right along here, uh, made sure that my ends were even, and I've now got my seam. It's just going to hold the seam flat, make sure it doesn't unravel, and it'll give some nice top stitching on the other side. Okay, so one way that you can make sure that your, that your seam is going to look even on the outside of your hat, um, I lined up the inside of my presser foot with my first original seam. And then I'm just going to keep it keep it nice and lined up. Make sure I'm For the next step, I just went ahead and ironed over this hem on my cap to be a width that will take my ribbon. I'm going to use a one inch ribbon because that's what I've got. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and put buttonholes on either side of my hat so the ribbon has a place to, to come out. Okay, I've marked my buttonholes where I want them to go. I'm um, putting them up approximately three quarters away from the center seam. It's a half an inch off of the little 
outer seam that I sewed. And my buttonhole is gonna take up pretty much the entire width of the brim. Uh, one more thing, when you're doing your buttonholes, make sure you unfold the brim of your cap because you don't want the buttonhole to go through both sides. You only want it on the inside of the brim. precise on this um, the tat very forgiving um, and then I'm gonna make another mark Let's see 10 inches on this side Okay, for putting the ribbon in, I'm going to take my wonderful bodkin. That I, I really like this thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. Holds on to it well. It doesn't matter which end you go through. I'm just going to go ahead and just choose an end. And I'm going to feed it through my casing. I'm going to make sure I come out a little bit beyond, it doesn't have to be that far, but a little bit beyond uh, my little chalk line. And then I'm going to pin so that when I'm fiddling with it, it's not going to come back out. I'm just going to go ahead and place a pin just so that I can make sure that it doesn't slip out or anything. I can take my bodkin off and then I can just use that chalk line and sew right up here. I'll go ahead and put my other ribbon in and get it positioned where I want it and that way when I do sew up I can just turn and sew all the way around the rest of the brim. So I did want to show you this part. I'm just, I told you I was going to crisscross my ribbon. So this ribbon comes out and goes this way. This one, I'm going to come and just try to feed behind and get behind it. And it will work itself out. It just makes the drawstring a little more secure. I have both my pins in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew up this line and then I'm gonna come around, go around the rest of the brim of the hat. Okay, now we're done with this part of our hat for now. Um, You'll see the drawstrings are on the inside of the hat and they'll just cinch up like this. So you won't even really see all this stuff if you've got some wonky seams. Uh, if your buttonholes don't look wonderful, they're on the inside, so it's not gonna show. Uh, and now we're gonna go ahead and start working with the top of the hat. Now for the top of the hat, you see we've got some nice pleats in the back. Um, I have one that I did with three pleats and one that I did with five. Uh, it's really up to you, especially if you're making them different sizes. Um, this one I'm going to do about five, or we'll try it. We'll see how it works out. But I'm going to try to do five, about one inch pleats, just like I did here. All right, to do my pleats, I'm going to find the center of my fabric, and I'm just going to try to fold some over and make about a about an inch pleat. I try to match up the edges so that it stays a curve. 
and I'll just place a pin. There's my first pleat. So this is just a temporary line of stitching. Okay, now I'm gonna attach the top of the hat to the back of the hat. Um, so I'm gonna put right sides together. And this time we've gotta make sure that we have our raw edge up. That's what's gonna attach to the top. I'm just gonna match the insides up. And pin and we're just going to go around matching our insides and pinning okay so I pinned almost all the way around my hat and I found I have extra fabric here so I just kind of wanted to show you this is really easy to deal with because I started pinning at or um, um at my pleats. Then this extra fabric I have, I can just make another pleat if I need to, and then it matches up perfectly well. So I can just go ahead and pin down, add an extra pleat, and then go ahead and sew my edges. Okay, so I just made an extra pleat. I matched it. I tried to match it up so that it was the same size. I made sure it went the same direction uh, as the others. So now, yes, I have six pleats in this hat. And yes, it is going to be a little off center, but that's all right. It's going to be on the back. It's going to be all scrunched up and you're never going to see it. So you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to take off all the top and repin or anything. Now we're going to go ahead and just sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. And we are essentially done with this hat. Um, so you can see where I basted. We'll want to take this out, this little line, you'll see. Um, that's no big deal. Otherwise, you can see we are essentially done. Um, on the inside seam, some people take pinking shears and go over this. Some people zigzag. I uh, have a serger. I'm going to serge my seams. And that's it. All we have to do after that is try it on and see if it fits. <laughs> 